Hello and welcome to a short video. Um, I was playing around with this type of sensor here, which is the Dragino LLDS12. It is a laser based, um, you can see that here, this is actually um, a laser based distance sensor, so a LIDAR. And what it does is that it measures the distance up to 12 meters starting at 0 0.1, so at 10 centimeters. This is quite impressive because it's perfectly suited for monitoring um, garbage containers, silos, um, stuff like that, even parking space um, where you have to measure it from a distance. Um, you can measure that up to 12 meters and this is perfectly suited for industrial application. So first of all, let's start with integrating that device from the Things stack to Datacake. Um, I've already hooked this up onto the Loravan network server and I've created an empty workspace for it. So the first thing that we need to do is add this to Datacake. We press on add device. And what you see here is the Loravan section, which is the most prominent device type on Datacake, Loravan devices. And you can see a list of presets. So in here we do select, um, we have supporting various manufacturers. So we support Dragino devices. And from the Dragino device template list, we simply need to select the LLDS12, press on next. We are now asked for the um, preferred network server where the device is set it on. I've set this up on the Sync Stack Volume 3, version 3, press on next. And now we all what we need to do is provide the dev UI. And we need to enter a name. So this is the, let's call it container level sensor device. We press on next. Um, Datacake allows up to two free devices. The free devices are a little bit limited in seven days of data retention, but fully featured. So we add this in the free plan. This device is now connected to Datacake. And when I open this up, I can see the dashboard that's within the template. And as you can see here, there's already a container fill level widget, um, the leader widgets and so on. So now we need to trigger um, data from the sensor manually. And yes, I just triggered a manual device transmission from that device. And you can see here, um, the container fill level is set to 63%. Um, percent. Um, it shows us the battery and it takes some time to get the temperature for the leader sensor as well. But the signal was valid. Um, the, the distance is 1.61 because it's measuring against the ceiling right now here. And I'm going to show you how you can set up the container fulfillment level and calibrate that to your custom containers or the things that you want to measure. First of all, we go into the configuration of the device. And when we scroll down a little bit, we get to the um, database section. And in here, there's the raw um, distance coming from the sensor. And what we did is we created a mapping field to the container fill level. Um, if you want to create a mapping field manually, for the fill level or for different things, you can do that. But in here, in the template, there is already a mapping field preset. So if we edit the mapping, we can see a linear scale. And this right now scales from 50 centimeters, which we assume is 100% filled, and 3.5, so 350 centimeters, which we assume is um, completely empty. Um, we can use boundaries so that it doesn't scale beyond 100 or 0%. Um, you can also set, let's assume like two meters and between of course, one meter, um, we can update this and you can uh, see that here. Back in the dashboard, let me now simulate a completely filled um, container by simply leveling my hand on top of the sensor and triggering a manual um, transmission. We just need to wait a few seconds until the new transmission of that sensor is being sent forwarded to Datacake. And we can then finally, with my hand still in the sensor, see, okay, it's now filled at 100%. You would be able to use that for monitoring silos or containers from the distance. And you simply can use the configuration to calibrate that based on the distance that you want to measure. But what if you want to measure the presence of a car, for example? So we can do this as well with the same mapping field. So we go into the configuration and I'm now going to show you how this works. So first of all, let's scroll down once more and we can see the various um, distance uh, mapping fields here. But we now want to add a new mapping field and we simply want to know if it's occupied or not, the parking space, for example. So we click on that button here, add a new mapping field. And instead of providing a float and a conversion, we want to have a Boolean. This opens up a lookup table and we can call that car, 
um, presence. And um, the lookup table, if, for example, this is below 150 centimeters, so one meter 50, the um, space is occupied. And if it's above, it's not occupied. This is all we need to do. We press, you can also see this here in the preview. When we are done, we press on add field. The field will be added to the list of mapping fields. And then you scroll down, uh, scroll up back into the dashboard. You edit this dashboard and we need to, pre, uh, to add a new widget, which is called the Boolean widget. We simply select now the car presence field and we provide a small text like yes and no. Maybe also um, a tiny little icon in here. This will be added to the dashboard. We can exit the edit mode. And right now I'm going to trigger um, a submission manual submission once more, again, with my hand on top of the sender. This will forward some data to the lower van gateway and data cake, and we will see it on the dashboard in a couple of seconds that in here, the parking space is occupied. Yeah, the presence, the car is present at the parking space. Um, if I remove my hand from the sender and trigger um, a manual transmission once more, what will happen, of course, is that it reverts to not occupied and the container fill level back to normal. Well, that's it. That's how you integrate the Dorino LLDS 12 into Data Cake and use that for industrial applications like container fill level measuring um, for car presence detection or everything else where you need to measure um, a range or a level from a distance because that sensor um, measures up to 12 meters of distance, still has high accuracy and runs on battery for five years. That's the magic of LoRaVan. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.